in, in light of the fact that the climate is different, do you think that people are getting the getting their heads around the fact that there are other nations living within Canada? I know that's a, that's a simple, st like it's an obvious statement for me to make, but I don't think everybody quite gets that. That there are that there are there are distinct yes and no. nations within the country. Yes and no. Okay. I think that there that people are getting that, are accepting the fact that there is that this for many 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 Ungoli people, when when you come onto the reserves, they 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 see that as a whole other country. And so for a lot of people, that kind of top-down paternalistic kind of view that the government has towards indigenous people that as long as you don't rock the boat, as long as you don't make any waves, then we'll continue to fund your community, we'll continue to honor the uh, whatever treaties or, or, or you know hunting rights or fishing rights or, or, or tax rights or any of those things that you know our people have paid for in, 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 the, in the blood of our, of our ancestors because that's the thing is like every, every inch, every mile of every reserve has been paid for in the blood of our ancestors and I, don't, and I think it's, it's a horrible thing to say that I would disrespect their sacrifices by, not, by letting every bit of land be covered in concrete in Asheville by developers rolling in with pipelines and you know, housing developments and like and all the rest. And so it's it, it, it pains me to think that, you know, folks would let that happen. 